we deferred to a process that we had actually created for an internal magazine called Deloitte Review. And it was basically what universities did, which was a peer review process. I recently had the opportunity to talk with Jonathan Kapolsky, who worked at Deloitte for 20 years from 1997 to 2017, a portion of which he led marketing and thought leadership. We talked about how Deloitte has raised its game in thought leadership dramatically over the last decade, how we got the firm to improve the quality of the content that it published. We talked about how we got senior management to get serious about thought leadership at Deloitte and his reflection on running thought leadership and marketing in a very large and global professional services firm. We also spoke about what Jonathan has been doing since his retirement from Deloitte in 2017. That includes the marketing classes he's taught at Northwestern University in Chicago, which is where he lives, the books that he has co-authored, and other activities that he's kept involved in over the last five years. So we identified who were some of the best authors in the firm, and asked if they would serve as quality reviewers. And then we had this blind process where articles or pieces or uh, concepts went through that process. And as part of that process, they would get feedback. And our goal was not to stop publishing. It was to make sure we didn't publish things that were not of high quality. The bias for these uh, reviewers was to get them to give useful feedback that would make something high quality as opposed to just kind of saying, no, you can't possibly publish it. And it was meant to be helpful and intentional as opposed to restrictive.